Hi everyone out there on YouTube, this is David from DP Computing. Uh, DP Computing provides on-site um, computer support solutions for small businesses in Adelaide, South Australia. Anyway, today we've got a Toshiba Tecra Z50-A laptop. Um, I did an unboxing of this new unit the other day and I uploaded it, so if you want to have a look at that just click on the link that's on screen at the moment. Now, as I said, this is a Toshiba Tecra, and what we're going to do is just open up the back cover here and um, show you what's inside. Before we do that, though, I need to take anti-static precautions. As always, when you do these things, open up computers, and also proceed at your own risk, and doing these things or doing following these steps may void your warranty. Now, the next thing I usually say is remove the battery, but as you can see, there's no visible battery. We have to open it up first to get to the battery. So I'll show you that when we get there. But anyway, to open it up, there's 17 screws. Now I've removed the screws already just to make this video a bit quicker, but I'll show you the location of them all. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Now just a word of note, on some Toshiba Ultrabooks I've noticed there's a screw under this little rubber grommet there, but on this unit there isn't, so that just makes it a bit easier. Also what makes this unit a bit easier is once all the screws are removed, you don't have to crack open the cover, uh, the cover should just lift off nicely. And there we go, that's the inside of the unit. So just a brief rundown, got the battery here, got the SSD um, drive there, We've got a 4G or 3G modem there. Um, the Wi-Fi card, which is an AC. We've got memory, one spare SIM. Uh, I believe that's a CPU and video card with the heat sink on, um, the fan and the heat sink. And here we've just got the port for the docking station of the unit. Now, first thing we have to do is remove the battery, which is here. Now we've got these little covers that are actually stuck down and we've got the battery connection there. So if we remove that first, we should be able to just slide it out. So we can slide it out, and then there's four screws. Uh, oh, before we go on, the screws to take the back cover off were all just standard, just small Phillips head, and they're all the same size. Um, when we remove the battery though, they're, they're screws, there's two different screws, and they're a bit smaller than what was on the cover. So, as you can see, that's the, see if we can put it on my hand, that's the battery screw, and that's one of the cover screws, so just take note of that. And the other thing to take note of is this screw here is actually got a big head on it. So once you, once I removed it, I'll just show you. So again, that's got a big head on that screw, so that's just another, um, word of warning so you know where they will go back. So on the battery there's one screw there, the one there, one there and one there. So there's four screws, three of them are the same type and the fourth is the one with the big um, head. So just be wary with these screws, don't lose them. So once all the screws are removed, you should be able to get the battery out. So if you can see that, there's the battery. It's a 14.4 volt one, um, and 60 watts, and 3,860 milliamps. So there, there's the battery if you need to replace it, and the underside of the battery. So under the battery here, we've just got the compartment, or the um, trackpad, and the things for the LEDs at the front and two speakers there. Now one interesting thing here is where the SSD is. I'll take that out in a second but I don't know if you're like me you can see hmm that looks like it will fit a normal two and a half inch drive and guess what you're correct but before I go on I'll just remove this so we can see the actual um, SSD drive in there it's held in by four screws and again, these are a slightly different type. They're still Phillips head, but they're slightly different. And if you might 
other screwdriver and yep these are slightly different again from the other top uh, screws we've removed in this unit so again just put them to one side and make sure you know where they came from so one more screw just be careful when you're undoing all these screws as I mentioned earlier so the SSD is in a small like little caddy thing here and you've got a connector here so we can just pull that connector out and there there we've got the actual SSD drive this one's a 128 gigabyte SS solid state drive from it's a Toshiba branded one see if we can get focus on that no it might be a bit better there no but that's it I'll just put that to one side and there's a little sort of caddy that holds it and in place now you might be saying hmm that looks like that space there will fit a normal two and a half inch drive and guess what you are correct because I've just got a normal Seagate two and a half inch drive here and look at that it'll actually fit in but the only issue there is uh, the normal two and a half inch drives have the normal SATA connections and here we don't have we've got a micro SATA connection but that can be replaced by pulling out the little connector there so you may be able to get a adapter to fit a normal two and a half inch drive into the unit um, we've got as I said the 4G card or 3 4G slash 3G card so it takes a SIM a phone SIM mobile phone SIM which fits in there and that's the actual card um, we can remove it by pulling that little plastic tab up and pulling it oh there's actually one screw just under that blue antenna there just remove the two antennas or antenna connectors and then you can remove that card the same with the Wi-Fi adapter here we've got a little plastic um, thing over the top and there's one screw in there I won't actually remove these screws because um, the antennas there can be a bit a bit fiddly to get back on now memory is just here um, got one dim it's just as normal we've got two silver holders just push them outwards and the memory will pop up and then you can pull it out and you can repeat what we did just to put it back in so slide it in then push it down till it clicks so there you have it, there's the inside of a Toshiba Tecra Z50-A um, As I mentioned earlier, we've also got an unboxing of this so please view that as well and also on our YouTube channel we've got plenty of other laptop teardowns um, we've also got a lot of Toshiba laptop teardowns so please check them out and also subscribe to our channel Thanks very much for watching and I hope to catch you next time, bye for now